Hello, and I'm going to show you how to rig a model uh, that I've used for Terrace Pass. As you can see, we uh, have our model over here. And the basic rigging product says, goes as shows. We're going to ungroup our model. And from here, we have all our parts. And the basic control parts, which like the humanoid root part and certain other parts of this model, I'm going to move out of the way so I can show the actual naming process and rigging process of this. So don't mind me. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our first part, the only part that's going to control our body, so it usually is one part, this part, for example. I've named it stomach, but I've later renamed it to chest after realizing my mistake. That is our control part for that one part of the body. This one is the stomach. This will be our control part for that part of the body. And then behind here we have our torso, which will be yet again our control part, our torso. So what we're going to do, we have our main body points of attachments, but we have a ton of details on this. So what we're going to do, we're going to take that part, we're going to take every other part that is, in this case, the pattern, group it together, and set our primary part to that attachment joint that we named, so the chest. So now you can see the chest and this entire model as the chest and the patterns. We're going to do the same with each other part of this for the stomach in a singular model. It has the stomach, which is the control part, and its details. And same thing goes for the torso. Now, as you can see, they all move as one joint as they're supposed to. Make sure you set your primary part as whatever your base is, your control part. So what we're going to do, we're going to take these. I'm moving it upwards towards our humanoid root part for the rigging purpose. We're going to pretend this is our entire model right here. We're going to add a humanoid for the later rigging process. And in this model, what you can see, we have three of the joints. And so to actually bind the patterns to the control part, because they are not right now, we're going to open Building Tools and go to the Welding tab. This, if you click Weld to Last, will bind the patterns onto the control part, which is the primary part, as you could see here. We're going to do this for each part that is grouped inside. So the three parts I have inside the model we're going to weld. And as you could see, the torso possesses welds that connect the patterns. Same thing for the last one, as you can see here. So now all your patterns are binded to your base parts. So we're going to open our rig editor. And don't mind me, I'm just going to move it to how I like it. This part doesn't matter. And basically what we're going to do, I'm going to Use that humanoid root part in the three parts. So this looks like an overwhelming amount of parts. So I'm going to select the humanoid root part base, which should be the base of every model, and select our torso, which is going to be the starting point. So that torso part that we use is a primary part. We're then going to select the torso and use the other joint, which in this case, I can't find here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to locate the model in the workspace because I do not want to click the wrong part. So in that case, I click the stomach, which is the second control part. That is only if I cannot find the correct part, and I'm unsure. We're then going to take the stomach and bind it to the chest, which I can see. And then we're going to take our joints, move them to however we like them. In this case, as a showcase, it doesn't matter. Commit changes, and that should be in the end of it. Now, pretending this is the rest of our model, um, this is a fin oh, the parts anchored. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to close out, I'm going to quickly unanchor it, and then go back to the animation tab to test it. So pretending that this is our entire finished model, um, you can see we can move our joints here. And we move them at those bases. As you can see, we did not rig the patterns. Rather, the patterns are binded. And in this case, 
it can move however it wants. Now the special thing about this welding technique is that if I take each and every one of these models and ungroup it, you could see we have a ton of names, which the new uh, animation editor does not like names. However, because they're binded, it acts as if they're invisible. It acts as if they're one part. Now, the same technique applies to the entire rest of the model. It's just a matter of grouping, naming, and whatever else. And soon you'll be able to uh, create a rig that is like this. Excuse that moving tooth part. That happens if you click a thing of the same name. But that doesn't usually happen. You just have to avoid clicking the details. But as you could see here, this is how a rig should act. And you don't need to spend a ton of time naming the details and patterns. You only need to name the base of the parts. And as you can see here, the joints, it's only the base joints. So you could see here, I have this finger part does not move because that doesn't count as a joint. That joint is binded to the tip of the finger. Same with the toes. The actual toe bone part that comes out isn't its own joint. It's binded to the last toe joint. And that is it.